What I uh, admire the most about Dr. Paul Cunningham is his ability to connect with individuals on whatever level they're on. It can be from if the governor came into town to the night shift housekeeper. He always treated each individual the same way and that always stuck out to me and one of the things I admired most about him. The thing that affected me the most while working with Dr. Cunningham is his professionalism. His love for the people, both uh, he and Sydney. You cannot have Paul without having Sydney. They are both are precious jewels. And whatever you guys decide to do in retirement, just remember that I wish you the best. If you ever decide you need another assistant, I'm available. Something that brings a smile to my face when I think about it. Uh, many people, when they come into Paul's office, are sort of stunned by, have you ever been in Paul's office? They're sort of stunned by what they see in there and the, the amount of stuff, the colors, the, just the liveliness of the office. And I asked Paul about that one time and he said that he does that to keep people off balance, to, to get them to sort of change up their thinking a little bit and to open up another side of their brain. One thing I love about Dr. Cunningham is he really loves his fellow man. He is passionate about serving the people of Eastern North Carolina and he really has a heart for the underserved. I always smile when I walk by Dr. Cunningham's car in the parking lot because he backs it in to park it. I asked him one day what that was about and he said he started parking that way as a trauma surgeon so that if you ever had to leave the house late at night, he wouldn't back over anything. So last year when we were having the end of year class play, it was a Harry Potter themed play. And one of the memories I'll always remember about Dr. Cunningham that makes me laugh is him wearing a purple robe and pretending to be Dumbledore, the headmaster of Hogwarts. Another great memory I have of Dr. Cunningham is when he came and lectured to our M1 physiology course. I don't think that's something you'd see at many medical schools but he's very student focused and set aside his duties as an administrator to come and give us a great lecture as M1 students. When I was a third year medical student, I was walking down the hallway with the gaggle of people that you always walk with as a medical student, a fellow up front, some interns, uh, some other senior residents, and a visiting medical student. And we're all in, the, all in the group walking down the hallway and coming at the other direction was Dr. Cunningham followed by his normal uh, entourage as well, people listening to him. And as we passed, I just said a um, very polite, good morning, Dr. Cunningham. And he said, good morning, Matt. And he gave me a fist and I fist bumped him. Uh, so just, just passing through the hallway in a very casual way. And the fellow stopped and he said, you just fist bumped Dr. Cunningham? And I said, yeah. And the, one of the residents who didn't go to med school here said, who's Dr. Cunningham? And the fellow explained, that's the dean of the medical school. And the senior resident looked at me and said, you just fist bumped the dean of your medical school? And I said, sure, why not? And the visiting medical student looked at me and said, oh, I wish I could go to medical school here. That sounds like something that's pretty cool. He um, taught me how to always remember that patients are people and learn how to let things just roll off your back like a duck. He taught me how to always come back to work the next day because tomorrow will always be a better day. What am I going to miss most about Dr. Cunningham? I'm going to miss the fact that every day when I come in and say, good morning, how are you? He says, I'm happy to be here. And my favorite is every time he goes to a meeting, he says, I'll be back.